Okay, what we have here is my first ever competition Dang. chopper. I was so excited to get to do this event. The events were a lot harder than I expected them to be, and there were several different techniques that had to be used in order to compete and be successful with um, the different challenges. The entire blade edge would still shave after that chop test. Okay, for this, there was a little bit of a trick to it. You just needed to make sure you slice downward and it would work. Here, I was told that we could have sliced upward and that would have made the thread not break, but all of us that tried it sliced it downward. Okay, here, I just did not hold my hand right and I knocked the cans smooth off this table. One of the guys left the bottom standing. The rope slice, I don't know what technique I used here except for using the bottom part of the blade, which my buddy Randall told me how to do that and it worked great. For the next event here, basically we have a straw that's standing up and the objective is to split the straw. As you can see, I'm going pretty slow. And slow and steady is the key here. Because you have to slice this straw completely vertically. And it takes some patience to not chop off a piece of it. So I'm just working at it here. Little by little, little by little, little by little. Okay, this is starting to get boring to watch. But still, you get the idea here. Yeah, so, okay, it takes a second to do this, but anyhow, on to the next one. The objective here is pretty simple, just stab the drum, and try not to hit another person's spot that's already been used. All right, the last test. Um, I was really sad about this. I didn't want to do this, but I felt like I really needed to to really test my work, and so I was able to do that here. And so you pick up the pipe and you just break your knife if it's going to break. It should have bent. Well, I say the objective was for it to bend, but mine broke instead. So obviously I have some learning to gain here on heat treating and hoarding uh, from another angle so I can cry twice. You can see here as I zoom in that overheating the steel either during quench or and during the forging process, the coarse uh, grain structure was made in the steel and I'm always thinking about analogies and metaphors and so this spiritual connection was made in my mind when I was thinking about this and obviously it's what's on the inside that counts. So you can see the rough forging here and how I had to straighten in this picture while I was doing my tempering cycles. You can see the blade coming together still without a handle right here you can see the rough grind and here this next one is a little bit more of a finer grind on the blade and here's an even earlier picture when there was still some forge heat left